<laughs> hey, beautiful people of the earth and planet and wherever you are. <laughs> and welcome to Dyson Swear program. Um, yeah, so I did something terrible. I recorded an episode of this guide where I did some major progress. And um, I managed to... Um, yeah, you kind of guessed right. I managed to record without sound so you couldn't hear anything that I was um, chatting about. So I'm I'm trying this again and um, hopefully it works. You can see gameplay in the background. We have run through a lot of those thingies. <laughs> and uh, we can see it's uh, actually taking quite a lot of those as well to to produce some those um, nitrogen thingies where it probably won't do more of the nitrogen until we do some more red research <laughs> so we might pull the plug on on some of these but we we have a lot of um we have loads more to to go through so that's fine anyways uh i did some progress so let me show you what i did in the episode so i did expand um on our production lines uh, in various places as you can uh, as you can see so i did uh, i built those processors then i built thrusters i built um this uh, particle uh, particle combiner. So I did some researching. So right, we researched uh, super much. Uh, we did much, uh, magnetic particle trap. We researched thrusters. We did high strength. We did structure matrix, which enables us to the yellow researchy bits. Uh, um, we did that. That did that one ages ago. So we had to do titanium smelting. We did planetary logistics system as well. Uh, and we, I was planning to move into solar sail and orbital system next. However, we need steel. We need steel desperately. And we also need to ramp up the production of those, uh, of graphene. Um, however, I do got some leftovers that we can use for production. So you can see the yellow science cube, um, which is down below uh, right there. I will uh, grab you along uh, to um, to the next bit as well. Let's see if we can um, just get rid of that bit and then So this uh, this gathers titanium, crafts it into titanium crystal. We have plastics going straight to the uh, this facility that makes organic crystal, uh, and then titanium crystal just using titanium. And we have from graphene, we're making diamonds, uh, which goes both of them goes directly into this yellow research cube structure thingy um titanium crystal and diamonds where it makes the yellow research bits that we will send into this tower right away um this is kind of shorter than what it usually is and um, I apologize for that. Sometimes the plans just don't, just doesn't go in anyone's favor. Sadly enough. Can I do like? Okay, so I I will do. Why is it colliding with other objects? Why is it? Okay, so it's colliding with that one. Let's just do like this then. 
There's no way it can collide now, and it doesn't as well. That's awesome. Okay, so... This one we will send through this way. And we can just check in those eight we got. And input and input. Now we have the yellow researchy bits. That enables us for the interstellar uh, research, but also we can do this stuff, um, but w to make this we need high strength titanium, which requires 80, which requi requires steel, so we need to make a solid uh, source of steel to make that happen. Uh, I will... Um, I will go through all of that the ne uh, during the next guide. What we need is power. So we got a hold of on all the planetary stuff. And we need to get going with uh, the ray receiver and the solar or orbit system. So I will just queue up all both of them. Uh, so that we can start automatically making solar sails. Uh, the rail ejector. And craft a ray receiver. Uh, that's that's the essential bits we need and I will try to gather all the resources make that happen uh, within the next guide episode and uh, I will get back to you then I hope you found this somewhat helpful just kind of having a catch-up looking what I've done uh, you can copy this structure if you want uh, I will be changing it in the future but it looks really cool. It looks... It is... This is just kind of like a starter setup still. Um, it's still a starter set setup. It's... F and I'm trying to just advance it to some sort of like mid-game setup. Um, even though this is where it's kind of starter. It's all kind of... It's all temporary. Uh, it's It's not permanent. So that's what we're going to do when when we get the logistic system up we'll do some permanent changes and I'm I'm really looking forward to that to kind of develop the guide more make some more um, systematic changes uh and stuff like that. Uh regardless of that guys, I do hope you guys enjoyed and uh, find this guide uh, interesting and um, um that you guys learn something. I really do. Look at that. I can get get straight into that. Uh, I, um, um, yeah. So stay tuned, guys, for the next episode. If I missed something, please leave it in the comment. If you have any tips or tricks that I don't know of yet, leave them in the comment section as well. Remember to give it a like, subscribe, and all, all of that stuff. Um, yeah. I just want to kind of share my approach to to this and kind of give you guys some some ideas of how you can do it what you can do and yeah in in what kind of speed and you can do it and efficiency and maybe you know a more efficient way to do it if you do i i would love to hear uh hear uh yeah listen to it and uh see and kind of de develop some something in uh within my own save worlds and stuff like that uh, yeah, as always, guys, I hope you guys are staying safe and all that. I will catch you guys in the next episode or the next guide uh, with solar power, <laughs> like proper solar power. <laughs> all right, guys. Peace out. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>